Hey everyone, Val here, and I'm getting ready to cook dinner. So we have some leftover ham from Easter. I'm going to try to use that up, so I'm going to do something fairly simple. I have this Bear Creek uh, creamy potato soup mix here. Uh, looks good, right? Um, it's really simple to make. It has, uh, says to do eight cups of water, bring it to a boil. Once it's at a boil, add the contents of this packet, whisk it around, simmer it for 15 minutes uncovered. And while it is doing that, I'm going to cut up some chunks of ham. Um, once it gets cooking up pretty good, I'm going to add my ham to it, get the ham warm in there, make a salad, and we're going to have soup and salad for dinner. So, um, let's get this started. Okay, so we haven't had this before. So, um, thought we'd try it. We'd do a little taste test for you. I've got my pot turned on high here. I'm going to add my eight cups of water to it. And I'm just going to let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll add the soup and I'll uh, cut it open we'll show you what it looks like so let's let this come to a boil our pot is boiling I've opened the packet feels like the bigger chunks are on the bottom smells smells pretty good I'm going to dump the the packet in there you can see in there, you can kind of see the chunks of the potatoes, the dried potatoes. All right, so I'm going to dump it in. I'm going to cut it down to medium heat. And it says to let it simmer for 15 minutes on the medium heat. Let me get it stirred up there really good. See, got a little spill. Let me uh, put my timer on for 15 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to let it simmer. We'll come back. It's been 15 minutes. You can see it's thickened up nicely. It looks good. I have the the leftover ham here. Oops. And then I had a piece of corn on the cob left, so I took the corn off the cob. I'm going to add that too. Why not, right? So we'll just add a little more heartiness to the dish and see how it comes out. I'm just going to let it sit a minute. Let that warm up in there. Wow, doesn't that look good? Get the meat and the potatoes. Everything in it. We're going to get this served. I got my lettuce cut for the salad. I think we're ready to go. So, we'll go get this served up and see if Steve likes it. Okay, so we're doing a taste test on the Bear Creek Creamy Potato Country Kitchen's soup. And we're going to, we added the ham and a little bit of corn from the corn on the cob. Let's get it served up. Let's see how it tastes. Looks like ham chowder. Yep. It's ham chowder. Get it? Get it? Ham chowder. Top. <laughs> Mm. 
Verdict. Got good flavor. That's it. Yeah, we could use a whole lot more of that uh, corn on the cob in there, though. Okay. I can put more corn in next no, time. Corn on the cob. Fresh right off the cob. Yeah, well, we can get some more and do that next time. We're going to add it. We're going to add whatever you want in there to make it think, however think, you want it to be made. Corn gives it a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. The ham good in it? Can't really taste the ham. You can't? Mm -mm. Okay, it suggests that you put bacon in it too, but you know. You I figured probably, we had the ham, we didn't need the bacon. You could probably taste the bacon more than you taste this ham. Hmm. The other flavors in it overshadow the ham. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. We've eaten ham like all week. All right. Well, Steve likes it. I'm sure I'll like it. So y'all give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye now.